Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> what was that? I just, you know, I just like that it, it goes to show that, like, he's taking it serious, but they're still having fun. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Royally Rumbled's 2008 Universe Mode. My name is Jordan. And as always, I'm Robert, and here we are, just two weeks away from No Mercy. Yeah, Robert, two weeks from No Mercy, uh, four episodes from the returning King of the Ring. Very exciting. And we have more qualifying matches for King of the Ring on both of our shows tonight. That's true. Uh, Mr. Money in the Bank, Kofi Kingston, advancing from Raw. And The Big Show advancing from SmackDown. Tonight, we will see two more superstars join the fray. Uh, but before we get to that, we have some crazy shit happening on both Raw and SmackDown. So, Robert, I know you got uh, your show in Oklahoma City tonight. Beautiful Oklahoma City. Boomer sooner, right? Match number one features former women's champion Michelle McCool and her partner, Layla, taking on the new women's champion, Mickey James and Ashley. Layla and the new women's champion start things off and Layla takes control and sections the ring off. Ashley makes the tag and takes the fight to Layla before Layla cuts her off and tags out to Michelle. Ashley refuses to quit and takes down McCool. Layla reverses the Mick DT and delivers a running hip attack to Mickey to pin her and pick up the win for Lay Cool. Raw's King of the Ring qualifying match tonight features the Intercontinental Champion Jeff Hardy taking on CM Punk. Punk and Hardy enter and before the bell rings, Umaga makes his way out to sit ringside. Midway through the match, Hardy is distracted by Umaga, which causes him to turn his back on Punk long enough for Punk to attack Hardy. Umaga leaves and Hardy and Punk continue to brawl at ringside. The action returns to the ring where Punk is able to hit the running knee in Bulldog. He locks in the Anaconda Vice, but Hardy escapes. Hardy is able to hit a Twist of Fate and a Reverse Twist of Fate. Punk kicks out at two, but Hardy is able to hit a third Twist of Fate and pick up the victory. Jeff Hardy is going to the King of the Ring tournament. Match number three is Rey Mysterio versus Carlito. Carlito's music plays and JBL carries Carlito's carcass out onto the stage. JBL then tosses him to the ground and charges the ring to attack Ray. They brawled, push the ref, and fight to the outside where they were both eventually counted out. This match ends in a no contest. In our semi-main event, Monday Night Raw features a tables match between one half of the tag team champions Crime Time in JTG taking on John Morrison. They wrestle for a bit, and then JTG brings the table in first. JTG hits a Famouser, and as he sets up the table, what the hell? It's Randy Orton. Why is the Viper here? Randy Orton charges the ring as JTG is trying to dance for all his fans in Oklahoma City. JTG couldn't get to drop it because Orton stopped him after the pop and lock with a clothesline. That bastard! Orton hits an RKO out of nowhere and then leaves. Morrison lands a crossbody from the top and they both crash through a table. But the match continues as the broken table was incidental. JTG drives Morrison face first into the mat and busts him open. Morrison sets up a table in the corner, but JTG reverses a few times. Morrison lands a Spanish fly on JTG on top of a table that wasn't set up. JTG hits Morrison with a sidewalk slam through a table to win. Huge victory for Crime Time, overcoming a random attack by Randy Orton. Well, uh... Out of nowhere! Randy Orton, the Apex Predator, I guess just wanting to keep everybody in check? Sure. He it's, just it... <laughs> beat the hell out of JTG and left, and then JTG won the match anyway. Universe mode, everybody! He, uh, Universe mode! JTG is resilient, and um, 
I'm just going to go ahead and make it official here. Next week's main event, JTG versus Randy Orton. The revenge match. We're setting it up right now. Wow. Randy Orton's going to pay. Raw is, you know, just doing crazy things. But We're that's next Randy week. Randy Orton versus JTG next week. In uh, the main event. But, but let's not go to the main event next week. Let's do the main event this week. Because well, this week... The World Heavyweight Champion is in action, non-title action, against a mystery opponent. Let's go to the ring. I love mysteries, Robert. Let's check it out. Well, Robert, you said that the World Heavyweight Champion was in action. Here he is, the man the game, the cerebral assassin, making his way out to the ring with the 16-time world heavyweight champion himself, Woo! the nature boy, Ric Flair. Yeah, ever since uh, realigning with Ric Flair, Triple H obviously has shot to the top of Raw here. He is the world's heavyweight champion. There's no doubt about his dominance over Raw for the last month two months yeah about that i mean triple h winning that title at SummerSlam, beating randy orton and Rey mysterio and then making quick work of william regal yeah i mean william regal <laughs> i guess you could say he chose wrong but what if it hit you know you can't you can't take anything away from regal for rolling the dice but triple h the only thing he took away from it was a very decisive and quick W. So I gave him last week off, and then here he is back in action against another mystery opponent, granted. But we'll, we'll see what Triple H is able to do here, because I'm very interested to see how he reacts to this opponent. Well, I mean, previously we saw he did very well against Regal, like we said, having no time to prepare for that, so... Let's see how the game fares in this match. Yeah, we are all subjects to His Highness, the King of Kings, Triple H, as the World Heavyweight Champion. And let's see. Wait a minute. Lights out here in the arena. I can't really see anything. I can't see anything. Robert, who's this mystery opponent going to be? Because I... Oh, my God! <laughs> oh, shit. That's got to be Kane. That's got to be Kane. Wow. The pyro just went off. There he is. And the big red machine is on Monday Night Raw. A huge acquisition from SmackDown. Uh, I, I didn't get paperwork that saw this i was unaware you stole kane from me robert uh however the big red machine uh former tag team partners with the big show over on smackdown and kane hasn't been seen on smackdown in a couple of weeks since before SummerSlam. so obviously here he is on raw and he's gonna take the fight to the world champion. Ah, God, that scares me every time. We're too close to it. I'm sweating profusely. That's why he wears the towel. Oof. Look at the face on Triple H. He is not pleased. And here we go. The bell rings. And Kane. Oh, no. Kane just throwing Triple H with ease. And now... Triple H doesn't really know what to do, it seems. And, and he's got to get a game plan together. Flair looks scared on the outside. Yeah, he's very concerned. And uh, Kane just working over Triple H here. Huge, huge surprise in the main event. And there's Flair up on the apron. And distracting the big red monster, giving the game time to hit that Sato suplex. And now Triple H is back in control. And that's why he has the Nature Boy on the outside helping him out. 
helping create advantages for the game. And a sidewalk slam by Triple H. And a big kick to Kane, just knocking him back down. Let's talk about Kane here for a second, because Kane in 2008 uh, was a main event player. Yeah, he's a monster in 2008. And so here he is in our universe, obviously inserting himself into the heavyweight title picture. Ooh, and a huge back suplex. Kane really favoring his back there. And it seems the dirtiest player in the game had uh, Kane's number. And Triple H just choking the life out of him. Going forward, we're just going to call them the dirtiest player and the game. Ooh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> oh, and oh. Kane with a big boot. And Kane choking Triple H. It's got to feel good for Kane to be back in the ring after so long being missing. I was going to say, uh, Kane is really looking strong here. Ooh, cover. One. And Triple H gets out of the pin attempt. Kane staying right on top of him, though, closing that gap. Uh-oh. Oh, <laughs> driving <laughs> Triple H's head and skull crashing to that mat with that DDT. Oh, he just chop him in the head? He did. And, and Kane is just really working over the game. Ooh. Staying on him. Staying active against that champion is going to win you matches. And Definitely. And Triple H able to get out of that Boston Crab there. And I don't think Triple H has faced anybody with the strength of Kane on Raw. Not at this point. And oh, wait a minute. Nate. Flair introducing a chair. We've got a foreign object in the ring. And Flair now distracting the referee. Oh. Triple H hits a low blow on Kane. With the referee's back turned. Spine buster. Double Huge H spine impact. buster. And now uh -oh. Triple H taking that turnbuckle pad off. The referee didn't see it. He's looking to... Oh, man, he's going to drive Kane's face right into the... Oh. Almost. Nope, Toss him to oh. the outside. And uh, just brings him back in. That's just as effective. Yeah. The referee found the chair finally and got rid of it. And Triple H oh. hooks the arms. Pedigree. Pedigree. And a cover. Shoulders down. One. One. Two. Two. Three. Wow. Kane got the shoulder up. Kane survived the pedigree. Kane kicked out. Now Triple H getting his frustrations out on Kane's neck. And now Triple H, what is he going to do? Beats him down to the ground. And an elbow finds the mark on the spine of Kane. And he's choking him again. Triple H is incensed. He's unhinged. And a side headlock. <laughs> what a lunatic. <laughs> he's really applying the pressure. Kane might tap out here. Let's see what's going to happen. Kane, they break the hold. Both men on their feet. And another sidewalk slam Ooh. this time from Kane. And now Kane's in the driver's seat. Cover. One. One. Two. Two. Oh. Kick out by Triple H. He almost pinned the champion in his... Oh, wait a minute. And Kane calling for that choke slam. Uh-oh. He's got Triple H up. Ooh, huge choke slam. He goes for the cover. Not Charles Robinson's right on top of it. One, two. two. And <laughs> 
Triple H survives again. And now I have to notice there was a small hesitation there with not Charles Robinson busy putting that turnbuckle pad back on. It just goes to show that Triple H is a master of the game. He knows what he's doing. He made it look like he was talking to Flair in the corner and took the other turnbuckle pad off. Spine buster! And a cover. That's got to be a rope break, right? Wow. It looked as though Flair held the ropes away from Kane. Ah. But what a match. And what, what a an huge match. Triple H what gets the win off of a second spine buster. Huge impact on both of them. And what a debut from Kane on Raw. Yeah, I mean, he kicked out of the pedigree. We see it we right seen here. Do that in a while. I thought it was over, and the champ uh, thought it was over as well. But Yeah, and here we thought Kane bought, won the match with a sidewalk slam. Triple H was able to escape the near fall there. Flair wasn't concerned at all at this point. <laughs> uh, I thought it was but over But look at this here. choke slam. Look at this choke slam. And you could see not Charles Robinson yeah, not busy paying in the attention. There. Just, I mean, the nick of time getting yeah, over there. He... And Triple H with that shoulder. But there is the world heavyweight champion just beat his second straight unknown opponent in the main event, no less. He is on top of the world right now. And, I mean, tough loss for Kane, but it, it there's no shame in losing to the world heavyweight champion. The best wrestler on Raw by far. He is the measuring stick on Monday Night Raw. Tough loss there for Kane. Uh, but a huge surprise debut. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it scared the hell out of us uh, being right there with that pyro. Yeah. Sitting ringside for that. You never get used to it. No, no, never. But Triple H picking up the victory. Uh, hard fought victory yeah. there. It's a solid main event. But let's not spend any more time on Monday Night Raw. Let's fast forward a little bit to Friday. Yeah, Friday Night Smackdown in New York City, baby. Woo! MVP is out on Smackdown yet again to remind the audience that he's the most valuable superstar on Smackdown and that he was supposed to debut tonight. But he wasn't satisfied with the level of competition being presented. He wants more out of the Smackdown roster and he's going to keep scouting opponents until he's satisfied with what he sees. He says he's here to make money and not friends. The Miz is back again to issue a challenge to the, quote, biggest loser in WWE, Captain Charisma Christian. He offers him a non-title match since he doesn't want to deprive the WWE Universe of their United States Champion. Christian accepts and tells Miz that he's going to slap the stupid smirk off of his face. Christian barely gets any offense in at the start, with Miz dominating. Christian might still have lingering effects from Big Show's WMD last week. Miz opens up Christian's stitches with a knee lift, and Miz goes for a skull-crushing finale, but Christian throws Miz off and connects with a European uppercut. Christian continues to build momentum before hitting a frog splash and a kill switch to pin the United States Champion. Match 2 was a tornado tag team match between the Edgeheads and Batista and Bobby Lashley. Earlier in the night, Ryder and Hawkins were on the phone with Edge, who isn't at the arena tonight, but he tells them he'll be watching and expects a big win. If not, there will be consequences. Batista and Lashley enter first, followed by Ryder and Hawkins, who taunt the big men into starting the match on the outside of the ring. Batista and Lashley agree, taking the fight outside. Batista and Lashley easily overpower the two, and the Tornado Tag match is officially underway. 
Batista and Lashley control a majority of the match, despite Ryder getting a near fall on Lashley at one point. Batista manages to take Ryder out with a spear, giving Lashley time to hit the Dominator on Kurt Hawkins for the pinfall victory. Next up, we saw Divas Champion Melina in non-title action against SmackDown's newest diva, Natalya. Natalya has a lot to prove after coming to SmackDown from Raw. Last week after her loss to Tori Wilson, Natty asserted herself as one of the most powerful divas as she showed off her strength and resiliency here against the Divas Champion. Natalya kicked out of the double knees and the sunset split. Natalya locks in the sharpshooter, and Melina's forced to tap out. She cannot make it to the ropes in time. A huge opportunity lies ahead for new SmackDown superstar Shelton Benjamin, who looks to take on the former WWE champion Chris Jericho. This is Jericho's first time competing in a one-on-one -on -one match on SmackDown since all the way back in episode 11. Jericho is pushed by Shelton from the start after eating a running knee lift but Jericho would only let Shelton get so much offense in before cutting Shelton off. Jericho corners him and connects with a clothesline and a bulldog. He quickly follows that up with a jumping enziguri, but Shelton kicks out. Shelton knocks Jericho down with a short arm clothesline and connects with a double underhook lifting gut buster. Jericho is able to counter and traps Shelton in the walls of Jericho. Shelton manages to fight through the pain and refuses to tap out. Frustrated, Jericho lines him up and connects with a code breaker, bloodying his opponent and pinning him for the statement victory before his one-on-one -on -one championship match with Booker T at no mercy. So kind of an action-packed show on SmackDown uh, and it's not over yet because our main event is the next King of the Ring qualifying match. And I decided, I, I felt like in the spirit of competition, we should highlight two of the best athletes on SmackDown in this match. So, without further ado, let's see tonight's SmackDown King of the Ring qualifying match, which is the WWE Tag Team Champions Tyson Kidd and D.H. Smith vying for the one open slot. You're making champion versus champion, partner versus partner, brother versus brother? That's right, and uh, it's happening right now. And, uh... I I think I think something's wrong with the graphics, <laughs> as uh, it's not Natalia making his way to the ring. I don't know if you could hear JoJo, but it is one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, the Cardio Kid, Tyson Kid. Huge opportunity here for Kid to get into the King of the Ring tournament and showcase his single ability. We know he's a tag team prodigy but if he were able to move on into the king of the ring tournament he, he could he's got something to prove i mean both of them do they they work very well as a unit uh clearly they are the only tag team champions that i have had on smackdown since yeah. we started this universe mode they have not lost those titles they've held them since the start of the sh show and I, something's got to give here because there's a spot in King of the Ring on the line. Yeah, I mean, my smart money's on D.H. Smith. He's just got way too much power. He's he's over. He's huge. He's way bigger than Tyson Kidd. It, it doesn't seem like it's possible that Tyson could pull this off. This is literal David and Goliath. I would not count Tyson Kidd out. Uh, Tyson Kidd is a technical wonder, and he is the cardio kid, as he's proven. Uh, so I, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen here. Partner versus partner, like you said earlier. And the bell rings. D.H. Smith fires out of the corner. 
And and kid avoids that kick. They just Oh! I, I thought he was going for a Russian leg sweep, but he wound up hitting a face buster. These there's like a like a sibling rivalry here almost, it seems like. Oh, and wait a minute. <laughs> D.H. Smith dumps Kid, but Kid is back up on his feet already. Oh, my God. Both of these guys have so much to prove. Up and over, slingshot, leg drop there from Kid. This, already, this match is so much fun. <laughs> and a drop kick. And, and it, it just goes to show what kind of lengths will these two partners go to to win this match? To pick up the win? Do you think, Robert, we will see a clean match here? Absolutely. I don't think that there's going to be any funny business. I think that they're both way too good a competitor and way too good a sportsman to let anything like that get in the way. And, and Kid... Back wow. suplex... And really just letting the, the cardio take center stage here. But see, the thing is, D.H. Smith could... He's, he's got enough durability to take a beating and outlast and out, let, let Tyson kind of burn himself out is what it seems like he's doing. Kind of a rope-a-dope situation, if you will. I mean, it's an interesting strategy getting your ass handed to you by your tag team partner. But, I mean, let's see what happens. Kid's got control, and he just tosses him out of the ring. Now we're just going to the outside here. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and Tyson Kid, what was that? I just, you know, I just like that it, it goes to show that, like, he's taking it serious, but they're still having fun. Yeah. And, and Smith just can't seem to get going Ooh. here. Oh my god, and Tyson Kidd, the strength, the unparalleled strength of, of one Tyson Kidd. He's sneaky strong, too, because you look at him, you don't think that he can oh. lift the likes of D.H. Smith and Big Show up, but he can. Cover, two! Two! Oh no! D.H. Smith mm. getting the shoulder up at the very last second after that beautiful fisherman neck breaker. By a hair. And now Kid twisting, oh. spinning, neck breaker. One, two. Wow. And D.H. Smith stays alive. That seemed like it was it. The momentum was all on Tyson's side there. But D.H. Smith alive, but doesn't seem like it otherwise. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Neck breaker. Wait a Here minute. Here we go. Oh. oh! And there's that power we saw before coming into play. And, and D.H. Smith obviously has a lot of cardio, too. He's fired up. Ooh, and wait a minute. Second clothesline. Successfully completes a comeback sequence. Dropping Kid with that sidewalk slam. And just power move after oh, power wow. move. Ooh. Huge gorilla press slam. And Tyson seems to be out of it here. He's got what him. What is D.H. Smith going for? Oh, no. What's he planning? Oh! oh! Huge power bomb! One. Two. No! Wow. <laughs> I thought for sure we were sending D.H. Smith into the King of the Ring, and Tyson Kidd just barely got the shoulder up. Arm drag from Kidd. DDT! It's anyone's match at this point. Another cover, but Smith just powers right out. Oh, he misses with the drop kick. Monkey flip! Wow. And Look kids... at them. They're just both kind of like looking at each other like, wow. <laughs> what a moment that was. 
And Kid tossing Smith to the outside of the ring one more time. Maybe he'll do something this time. Nope. We got in one punch. Oh, <laughs> a fall away slam into the barricade. Oh, that was brutal. Oh, oh my God. And just slamming Kid down. He's trying to take out his partner here. There's, they're no longer brothers. There, there's no tag team here. They are just beating the piss out of each other now. That's how important King of the Ring is for these guys. Oh! And now the, the post. D.H. Smith has lost it here. <laughs> Oh, and in before the 10 count, and Smith oh, gets taken down by Tyson Kidd. And Kidd now working that arm. He doesn't want to get lifted up ever again. <laughs> you see Kidd grabbing at the, the ribs. Perhaps there's some internal oh, injuries there. The thunderclap. Wait a minute. Kidd counters again. What is he looking at? Another oh. fisherman neck breaker. Get the pin. Tyson goes for the pin. Two. Three. Wow. Tyson Kidd advancing to King of the Ring and beating his tag team partner to do so. The speed of that, uh, that swinging fisherman neck breaker. Really and what... I guess took D.H. Smith by surprise and let Tyson pick up the win. Look at him, he's sweating his ass off. What a, a match, and and D.H. Smith's got to be disappointed. And D.H. Smith just looking disappointed as he leaves the ring. I don't think Tyson he's mad did. necessarily. I just think he's disappointed in himself. But that was yeah. a hell of a hell of a match between two guys who knew each other so well. D.H. Smith lost it on the outside and was going for blood, it seemed like. But Tyson able to pick up the quick victory off the quick strike attack uh, that was that swinging fisherman neck breaker. Yeah, uh, both men hard hitting match, proving why King of the Ring is going to be a huge event. You know, yeah, and I mean. Even before that, just proving how good both of them are and how deserving of the tag team championships they are. That's true. Uh, Jeff Hardy joining Tyson Kidd, Big Show, and, Kofi, and Kingston. Kofi Kingston in King of the Ring. Four more qualifiers to go. So we got four more superstars entering that tournament over the span of the next few weeks leading up to it. But before we get to King of the Ring, we've got to stop at No Mercy. we got some huge stuff shaking up for No Mercy. So so next week is our go-home show for No Mercy, so you do not want to miss it. Uh, we already have Randy Orton versus JTG in the main event of Raw. Uh, and then on SmackDown, maybe, maybe we'll see... We'll see. We'll get there. Okay. We'll get there. Okay. But, uh, yeah. So, this has been it for Royally Rumbled. Uh, if you would like, you could find us on social media. Follow us at Royally Rumbled. And if you want to follow us individually, I, Robert, can be found on Instagram and Twitter at Yesball. And I, Jordan, can be found on Instagram and Twitter at at JL24FPS. So thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to stick around and uh, hit that subscribe button so you smash never miss another episode. Smash that subscribe button. <laughs> yeah, just smash it. Just smash it. Uh, whatever, that's what people say. Anyway, uh, for Royally Rumbled, my name is Jordan. I'm Robert. And we will see you next time on a brand new episode in... 2008.